This is a really big pendulum, and unlike the pendulum in a clock, this Foucault pendulum at the University of Puget Sound is free to swing in any direction. It takes about eight seconds for it to go from there over to here and back, but that's not the motion that I want to show you. Now, this is not an interactive exhibit, but I have special permission. The motion I want to show you is too slow for you to see, so I'm going to speed things up in this video about 480 times so that you only see the pendulum when it's at this point in its swing here. And doing that will compress the next 32 hours into four minutes of video. We're going to try science. Played back at this speed, the pendulum appears to move around the room, but that doesn't really grasp what's really happening, because the ground is what's moving. It's rotating. You are watching the world turn. Let me explain. The pendulum ticks back and forth due to the law of inertia, which states that an object in motion stays in motion, unless something acts on it. So the pendulum continues to swing along this plane of motion, and from its point of view, it's just swinging back and forth along that same plane. From the pendulum's point of view, the ground is what's moving. Now, while that's incredible if you ask me, it can also be hard to grasp. So I want you to picture this. A Foucault pendulum placed at the North Pole would appear to complete a clockwise circle once every 24 hours, as the Earth completes a day by rotating beneath it. But that isn't always the case, because at the poles, the relative rotation between a pendulum and the Earth's axis is at its maximum, so the closer you move a pendulum towards the equator, the longer it takes for a so-called pendulum day to take place. That's the amount of time it takes for a Foucault pendulum to move around the room, as it were. Here at the University of Puget Sound, a pendulum day is about 32.3 hours long. Now the reason it isn't 24 hours here is because the Earth is a sphere. So the closer you put a pendulum to the equator, the further it is from the Earth's axis. And the greater the difference in angle between the Earth's axis and the plane that the pendulum is on. The greater that difference is, the less relative rotation there is between the pendulum and the Earth. So it takes at least 24 hours to see one pendulum day, and potentially much longer. You can actually figure out your latitude just by watching and timing a pendulum as it moves in this way, but of course there's easier ways to do that. It's now 5.30 in the morning, but I'm awake and ready to get back at it. At the equator, a pendulum day lasts forever, and that's because at that location, a pendulum is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. The planet and the pendulum's plane are not moving in relation to one another. Here in the northern hemisphere, Foucault pendulums rotate clockwise because of the Earth's rotation, and that rotation also causes sundial shadows to move clockwise. I mean, it's probably where we got the term clockwise in the first place. If we put a pendulum at the South Pole, it goes counterclockwise, but again, it takes 24 hours. We talk about the sun rising and setting, but that only appears to happen because of Earth's rotation, and up until this experiment was done, we could only assume that the Earth was spinning due to our observations of the sun, of the moon, and of the stars, but no one had figured out how to do an experiment to actually test that until 1851, when a physicist named Leon Foucault came up with this, and that provided the very first simple proof that the Earth rotates. He did all of that using nothing but a pendulum, and if you ask me, that is pretty remarkable. And that is a pendulum day. Now, it's worth noting that most Foucault pendulums on display, like this one, have an electromagnet at the top, but that's just to keep them going forever. You could just use a normal pendulum to do this experiment and get the same results. It just wouldn't last as long. And maybe that's a good thing, because this took me a long time.